Walt Disney World resorts and hotels get almost all the attention from vacationers, travel agents, advertisers, and influencers. But Universal has some incredible hotels, which should not be discounted. Hey everyone, it's Mike here from DDU. Universal Orlando hotels offer many of the same perks and conveniences that you will find at the House of Mouse. And these hotels can truly enrich your Orlando vacation. In this video, we will look at all the perks of staying at a Universal Orlando hotel and weigh them against the countless off-property resorts in order to help you decide if staying on property at Universal Orlando Resort is right for you and your family on your next visit to Orlando, Florida. But before we get into that, please remember to smash that like and subscribe button as it would really help our channel to grow. Now let's roll the intro, hear a word from our sponsor, Majestic Vacations, before taking a deep look at the hotels that encompass Universal Orlando Resort. Are you planning your next vacation to Disney World, Universal Orlando Resort, or both? Are you planning to travel abroad to breathtaking destinations like Antigua, Bali, or Cancun? Or maybe your next destination is to the incredible European countries like France, England, Germany, Ireland, or others. No matter where in the world your next dream vacation is, Majestic Vacations has you covered. Offering travel services of the highest quality, their experience and commitment to customer satisfaction has earned them a solid reputation in the travel industry. They make the vacation planning process simple, easy, and fun. They will get you the absolute best deals, give you the best advice, and work hard to make your dream vacation a reality. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to their website or call this number on the screen to start planning a truly memorable vacation. Majestic Vacations. Don't just dream it, book it. Universal hotels are run by a company called Lowe's. No, not that Lowe's. Different spelling, totally different company. This Lowe's is an American luxury hospitality company who own or operate 26 hotels in the U.S. and Canada. Headed by Jonathan Tisch, they have what is called a good neighbor policy which means that they work with local organizations and schools and with various local charities, including giving leftover food and old hotel furniture to people in need in the local community. The Good Neighbor Policy was actually awarded a President's Volunteer Service Award in 1996. The Lowe's Hotels, which were constructed specifically for Universal Orlando Resort, are broken down into four tiers. The value tier is called the Endless Summer Resorts, and those include Surfside Inn and Suites and the brand new Dockside Inn and Suites, which are located across the street from each other. The plot of land they sit on spans a total of 64 acres, which the company refers to as Mid Campus. Under the right promotions, you could get a room for around $84 a night. Now, 
the endless summer tier does include shuttle buses to the parks and early park admission but does not include any of the other perks which we will discuss later in this video i will say that i stayed at dockside inn when it first opened and i have zero complaints about the hotel it was beautiful modern well themed had decent food included many amenities like a pool a bar a fitness center and more however i probably would not stay there again but that is only because i would personally rather stay at a hotel that includes express pass that's really the only knock that i have on the endless summer resorts everything else was perfect great service great theming and an overall very relaxing environment it's basically a four-star hotel at a two-star price so if express pass isn't really a huge issue for you i would highly recommend staying at the endless summer resorts the next tier is the prime value tier the two hotels in this tier are cabana bay beach resort and the aventura hotel Regular room rates start at around $144 per night, and room sizes start at 300 square feet. These resorts offer all the same perks as the value resorts, plus a private entrance to Volcano Bay. These are the only Universal Orlando resorts which offer a private entrance to a park, at least until the opening of Epic Universe. However, these resorts are obviously more expensive and still do not offer the same perks which the preferred and premier tier hotels offer. If you're going to spend a lot of time at Volcano Bay, then this hotel might be worth staying at. If not, aside from the bigger rooms, they really do not offer anything more desirable than the endless summer resorts. So you have to decide. If a bigger room and a private entrance to Volcano Bay are important enough to you that you're willing to pay the additional cost. Next, we come to the preferred hotel tier. This is the only tier that has just one hotel, and that hotel is Sapphire Falls. Room rates for Sapphire Falls start $181 per night with room sizes of 321 square feet this is a beautiful resort offering excellent theming and a beautiful pool area the additional perks offered at sapphire falls include 24-hour room service valet parking and the allowance of pets the final tier is the premier tier these are the upper echelon of Universal Hotels and consists of Portofino Bay, the Hard Rock, and the Royal Pacific. Regular room rates for Royal Pacific start at $262 per night with room sizes of 335 square feet. Now those prices may sound steep, but you have to consider the perks of staying at these hotels. The biggest perk is Express Pass Unlimited. And this is huge, especially during the summer season. If you consider the fact that Express Pass Unlimited costs around $109.99 per person per day, and subtract that cost, the actual cost per night of Royal Pacific is only $162 per night. And that express pass is given to each person staying in your room. So for each person, subtract the $110 and that $162 per night is the best deal of any resort in Orlando. Aside from express pass, you also get all the perks that you get at the lower tier hotels, plus priority seating at select restaurants. So every hotel has perks related to their specific tier, but 
there are perks that are included in every tier and I thought it would be a good idea to take a closer look at those. Every hotel includes complimentary shuttle bus transportation to and from the airport and to and from the parks. This helps you completely avoid parking costs at the theme parks, which are going to run you about $26 per car per day. Whereas if you stay at a universal hotel, you obviously avoid that cost altogether. This can save you hundreds of dollars depending on the length of your stay. The next perk is one that the House of Mouse also has and that I completely forgot to mention in the Is It Worth Staying on Walt Disney World Property video, which I will link here. That perk is free delivery of any items you buy in the park directly to your hotel room. So say you buy a few shirts or a few toys or something that's fragile or even something that will be a huge decoration for your house. Instead of having you carry that item around with you for the entire day, both Disney and Universal will deliver that item to your hotel room if you're staying on property at no additional cost. Both Disney and Universal will also ship any items you buy directly to your house for an additional fee as well. This might sound like a small perk, but it was a huge benefit for us. We bought a lot, and I mean a lot, of merchandise at the parks and resorts. From mugs to clothes to other knickknacks, and being able to have them shipped directly to our house was a huge weight off our shoulders when you consider how baggage costs are at airports. It was a great way to avoid having to pay about $100 more just to check our bag for our flight home. If you stay on property, make sure you take full advantage of this perk at both resorts. The early theme park admission is essentially the same thing offered at the House of Mouse. You can enter all three Universal Orlando Resort parks, those being Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay, 30 minutes prior to the park opening to everyone else. This is something we here at DDU highly recommend that you take full advantage of. You can get at least two or three of the big e-ticket attractions out of the way without much of a wait. We especially recommend this if you're staying at a value resort and have not purchased Express Pass. Lines for Velocicoaster, for example, can be hours long. So if you can stomach it that early in the morning, it's a good idea to get on these rides during that half hour window, especially during peak seasons. If we look at comparable prices of off-property resorts, Universal Orlando's hotels are right on par with them in terms of price. The endless summer resorts are even lower than the cost of the cheapest alternative, which is the Holiday Inn Resort Orlando Suites, whose price comes in at $99 per night, whereas a room at the endless summer resorts can be had for around $10 cheaper if you get the right promotion. And also keep in mind that none of these resorts offer the same perks of staying on property, such as free transportation and early park admission. The most expensive resort listed here, the Wyndham Grand Orlando Resort Benet, does cost only $229 per night and does have four and a half stars. But when you compare it to Lowe's Royal Pacific, you're still not getting that free Express Pass Unlimited for every person in your room. And also with these off-property resorts, you have the additional cost of either hiring a rideshare service to get you to and from the parks, or you will incur the parking charge in the Universal parking lot. So when you consider all of those factors, Lowe's Royal Pacific gives you much more value at an equal or lesser overall cost. The fact is that Universal Hotels are on par 
with Disney hotels in terms of perks and benefits. A lot of people look at the cost of a Disney or Universal hotel and think immediately that the cost is too high and will not seriously ever consider staying on property. This is a huge mistake because they are only looking at the base cost of the nightly rate without investigating what they are actually getting for their money. When you factor in the perks that the various hotels offer, there is no comparison between staying on property or staying off property. You just get way more value for your dollar at the on-property hotels at both of these resorts. With that said, I hope that this video helped you with your vacation planning process. If it did, please smash that like and subscribe button as it would really help this channel to grow. Until next time, happy planning everyone.